देख रहे हैं रिएक्शन चेक सलाम नमस्ते थैंक यू सो मच फॉर क्लिकिंग ऑन दिस वीडियो एज ऑलवेज वेलकम टू रिएक्शन चेक कुछ अर्से पहले मैंने कुछ फैक्चुअल वीडियोस की थी जिसमें टेन फैक्ट्स अबाउट मुंबई टेन फैक्ट्स अबाउट कराची टेन फैक्ट्स अबाउट पाकिस्तान एंड टेन फैक्ट्स अबाउट इंडिया देर वर लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज द लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रोवर्शल मैसेजेज वर फोर दया कि यार ये बंदा क्या बोल रहा है इस वीडियो में हम नहीं मानते एंड अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट पाकिस्तान वॉज ऑल्सो यू नो लाइक आर्ग्यू लिखे भाई ये सच नहीं बोल रहा पाकिस्तान इज़ नॉट लाइक दैट वट एवर दर शोइंग यू इज़ नॉट रियल एंड द सेम थिंग हैपन इन इंडियन फैक्ट वीडियोज इज वेल दर एक्चुअली डिड रिएक्शन टू दिस वीडियो इज एक्चुअली अनदर फैक्ट वीडियो फ्राम अ चैनल कॉल द एफ टी डी फैक्ट्स देव बीन मेकिंग लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज and uh, they've uh, this video was recommended uh, highly recommended by a lot of people it says incredible facts about apj abdul kalam and uh, let's let's see what we have in this video and then we will basically talk about uh, what exactly these people are talking about and you can tell me if they are true or not dream is not what you see in sleep dream is something that does not let you sleep In this episode we're taking a look at one of the greatest heroes to all if not most Indians more popularly known simply as APJ Abdul Kalam a man who came from humble beginnings and rose up as the leader of a nation What's happening everybody my name is Leroy Kenton welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts and throughout this video I'll be referring to APJ Abdul Kalam most times as Dr APJ and he's literally our most requested topic right now like we have pages of requests from people asking us to do a video on Dr. APJ. People like Jahid Gul, Shivam Kumar, Josh Gamer MC, Tech Hub MEA, Jeshwant Reddy, Manny Duvedi, Kanishk Rawat, Young Homie, Anurag Dube, and Pal Piali. And that is just a few of you guys. Now before we officially begin with this video, I want to ask you guys, what or who inspires you? Beginning with the early life of Dr. APJ, APJ Abdul Kalam was born on the 15th of October in 1931 in British India. He was born in a region that is now called Tamil Nadu. In his early years, Here's Dr. APJ spent a lot of his time studying mathematics which led to a fulfilling career as a scientist. He came up from a poor background and he actually had to start working at a very early age just to supplement their family's income. For work, he distributed newspapers after school and his father Janulabdin had no schooling at all. However, he did own a ferry and he took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Danuskodi and his hometown of Rameswaram, Tamil Nadu. Dr. APJ attended the Madras Institute of Technology and graduated in the year 1960. After that, he joined the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization, or in short, the DRDO. And then following that in the year 1969, he was transferred to work for the ISRO, and that is the Indian Space Research Organization. Now, from there, that is when his whole career skyrocketed. He was a project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, the S SLV3 which had successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near earth orbit on July 1980. He was heavily involved in India's military missile developments and for that Dr. APJ was nicknamed the Missile Man. And yeah, he really earned this name because of his work in the development of ballistic missiles and launch vehicle technology. I mean, this guy was like a gifted, talented genius. So why is this development so important in terms of ballistic missiles? Well, it gave India another tool that allowed them to have a great tactical advantage. rather than using the standard cruise missiles. The main advantage is that ballistic missiles can fly above the atmosphere and travel very quickly. Just to give you an idea, a target at 10,000 kilometers away would be hit in 30 minutes. Because of the efforts of Dr. APJ, India's Pokhran 2 nuclear tests in 1998 were advanced much more quickly as well. Because you see the previous nuclear test that was done by India was back in the year 1970. So that's more than 20 years prior. As I mentioned before, he is just a natural gifted genius. So it's no surprise that he was a recipient of honorary doctorates from 40 universities. That's 40. Okay, and check this. His impact as a scientist was so great that in the country 
of Switzerland, May 26 is considered Science Day to commemorate Dr. APJ's visit to Switzerland. Wow, he even has a national day in another country based Amazing. off of him. I did not now, there's know so this. many other facets to his career as a scientist, but I want to quickly touch on his career in politics. Dr. APJ served as the 11th president of India. He won the 2002 presidential election and he was in office from the 25th of July 2002 to the 25th of July 2007. And because of his humble attitude and demeanor, he also earned another nickname, the People's President. But surprisingly to me, and I'm sure to many others as well, although he achieved so much, Dr. APJ was never married. At the presidential residence, the Rashtrapati Bhavan, his hairstylist Ahmed asked him why he never got married, and his response was this, I was married. I was married to the missile. And that was just solid confirmation that Dr. APJ was committed to serving his nation. Everyone on this planet has a different calling and for Dr. APJ, it was advancing his country. Now, APJ Abdul Kalam didn't just love his work. He was a great lover of poetry, most specifically Tamil poetry. He could play the Veena as well as he could recite the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita, as well as he knew the Holy Scriptures very well well. The religion he did identify with, though, was Islam. Now, we can't fit all the information about his life in just one video, but I do recommend his autobiography that was written. It's called Wings of Fire. It was first published in English, but has since then been translated into more than 13 languages. He was a prolific writer and wrote about 15 books. The subject matters wow. on those books range from nuclear physics to his spiritual experiences. You can clearly see why this man was and still is an inspiration to many people. And I haven't even touched on the amount of awards that he received. In the year 1997, he received the Bharat Ratna, which is the highest civilian award in the country of India, as well as here are some of the other awards that he's won. But sadly, all great things do come to an end in this life. While delivering a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Dr. APJ collapsed and died from apparent cardiac arrest on the 27th of July, 2015. He was 83 years old at the time. But his legacy will continue to live on in the hearts and minds of many people, as well as through his writings and videos made after him. The life of Dr. APJ even inspired one Hindi film. The movie was called I Am Kalam. In it, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is portrayed as an extremely positive influence to a poor boy named Chotu, who later on renames himself Kalam in honor of the man who inspired him. There are many ways that we can live our lives and one of the main lessons that we can learn from the life of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam is that no matter how simple, poor, or insignificant you may be, with a burning desire and a strong hope and faith in what you believe in, fueled by genuine love, you can achieve great things. A symbol of hope and inspiration, not just to the people of India, but also to the rest of the world. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's legacy will continue to live on for generations to come. Well, very few people that I know have uh, have lived an extraordinary life like uh, Dr. APJ. Um, there were a lot of facts that I didn't know about. I did know what he, what kind of contribution he has. Uh, he has. Uh, to the field of sciences and also to uh, to the to the people of India, um, Oskar Lava. Uh, I did not know that uh, he wasn't um, uh, he wasn't married. I mean, that was something that I never thought of. You know, like uh, maybe he. Uh, it's something that you don't think of. Like maybe I, I always thought in the back of my head, like yes, this guy must be married. Uh, he must have kids. Well, how how old are his kids? And maybe he has uh, grandchildren that that will be able to contribute. Uh, a lot of time that happens. Like they, these uh, very hardworking people, they decide not to uh, get involved in marriage because they it may uh, interfere with what they actually want to achieve in their life. I don't know. This is something that uh, I feel. Um, I'm definitely going to um, read some of the books that he has written, some of his spiritual experiences, and also uh, the autobiography of uh, Dr. APJ. I don't know if you have read if you have read any of those books. You can tell me in the comment section below what did you feel about him, and you as Indians, what do you feel about his achievements, and uh, what do you think uh, that a guy like him, what kind of impact can he have on the youth, uh, upcoming youth, and uh, you as an individual watching this video, how has his life affected your life? 
हमेशा की तरह बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया ये वीडियो मेरे साथ देखने का अगली वीडियो तक के लिए सलाम चारा गुड बाय एंड अडियोस